Alistair. Alistair. Hey. What are you doing? 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 Hi. Hi, little guy. What are you doing? Hi guys, good morning. This is Tiffany 100 plus. I am here with little Alistair. He is now in what was Blake's room. Blake, as you all have seen, has gone to training. So we had Blake's room free. So we moved little Alistair into Blake's room, which he was not fond of um, in the beginning because it's a big room and of course he can't see. So he was a little stressed out, but if you're in here with him, he is much more calm, much more comfortable, much more relaxed, right? He just wants his person. You want to keep petting? Yes, you want me to keep petting you? So as you know, Alistair went to the eye specialist. One of his eyes is definitely not a candidate for surgery, um, but one of them potentially could be. So the only way we're gonna know that is we have to do retina testing, which means he needs to go under anesthesia to do that and <clears throat> We also want him to have a dental because his teeth are not great. He has to go under anesthesia for that. So to make sure that he is okay for all of that, we made a cardiologist appointment for him, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow morning at 9.30 is his appointment with the cardiologist, which we will be testing his heart and making sure that he is okay to undergo all of that anesthesia. Um, and if so, then we'll make the appointment to do the retina testing with the eye specialist. And depending on how that goes, he'll either tell us that he is a candidate for surgery and we can go ahead and do the surgery and hopefully give Alistair his sight back in one eye. Um, and then we can also make the appointment for his dental procedure. So there's a lot riding on tomorrow's cardiologist appointment. Hey, sweet boy. Who's the sweet boy? Who's the sweet boy? What are you doing? <laughs> Careful. Oh, good boy. Where are you going? Careful, that's the edge. Good boy. Good boy. You coming up? Come back up? There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He has figured out the couch, he did fall off before I turned the video on. Um, 
He didn't realize how close he was to the edge, but he has pretty much figured it out. He knows his bed is right there in the proximity to where his bowls are. So he knows if he comes on the bed, he can jump up on the couch pretty easily. He's gotten that figured out. What are you doing? Alistair. Alistair. Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing over there? Huh? What are you doing over there? I do have the donate button on this video, guys. As I said, he will be going to the cardiologist tomorrow. He's already been to the eye specialist. Depending on how the cardiologist goes, he's going back to the eye specialist and also getting set up for a dental. So I do have the donate button on this video if you would like to donate towards Alistair's ongoing care. And as I said yesterday, on the video of our three babies that went to the vet, we've got a lot of medical in this house. Um, I think currently the only dogs that don't have any medical are Sam and Susie. Everybody else has ongoing um, medical. Dharma is ongoing medical with her therapy appointments and all of the medications that she is on and her neurologist appointments. Um, Spike, we're awaiting um, the results of the cytology that went out yesterday. He potentially might need surgery. Um, Mario is an ongoing medical with his neurologist appointments and doctor's appointments. Lance is ongoing medical um, dealing with his hydrocephalus. And now Alistair has got quite a few appointments coming up. And then, of course, Blake is in training for six weeks. So it has uh, been a costly run here um, for all of our babies at Rescue House One. So if anybody would like to donate... towards all of that ongoing medical that we have here for all of our babies. The donate button is on the video and we would be very grateful to you. Right, Alistair? As long as he's with somebody, he is happy and calm and content. I really hope that we can give him his sight back. I really, really do. I think that would help relieve some of the anxiety. Right? Careful. You, you just gonna go lay all the way over there? You gonna go lay all the way over there by yourself? You don't want to snuggle no more? You coming back? You coming back? Yes. You coming back? Hi. I know. There you go. There you go. So, of course, I will update you guys tomorrow with his cardiologist appointment when we know one way or another um, where we stand and if we can get the other appointments on the board. We are hoping and praying that we can. But this is just a quick little Alistair update. This is Tiffany, Rescue House One, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.